Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is why I'm watching Agatha All Along, Season 1, Episode 6. Familiar by thy side. I liked this one. It was better. We had a little bit of a conversation in between where we sort of shared the fact that we weren't really liking it. And then we contrasted that with one of our friends who's really enjoying it. And um, I don't, I don't know. I liked this episode because I felt like I was getting stuff. Like, I felt like they were answering questions and we were furthering the plot. Mm -hmm. I guess I just don't understand or get the witch's road. I understand that it is a trial that they go on in order to, it's like the Wizard of Oz, yeah. you get, you know, your gift at the end of the road, whatever. But I guess I am unconvinced in production's ability to depict it. Uh -huh. Maybe that's part of my issue. Uh, I liked this one because this felt like an episode of the show that I was watching in episode one and two. Sure. Like, this felt like a sequel to those episodes yeah. in ways that, like, three, four, and five felt like vignettes off in a... Yeah. <laughs> I also, I have, like, I think my my main critique now at this point that we've dispatched... Because, again, Rio was not in this episode. Yeah, where is she? Did so, she disappear? I have or? no clue. So, basically, we've dispatched all of the witches. Pr probably not for the rest of the run. Like, mm -hmm. I, I assume we'll see them at the end of the series. But, um, and I think that's part of what made it better. Mm. I think just having Agatha and Teen together. Because you also made a comment in between and... God help me, because these Broadway fans are fucking feral. We both discussed that Patti Lapone is phoning this in. <laughs> I, I said I love Patti Lapone so much. So I much. Said, but she's got one eye open. <laughs> this is not stretching her capabilities in any way. And so, in that sense, having her and Sister Zameda again shunted to the side, or into the yeah. mud, I guess, is was helpful. <laughs> Because I do feel like Catherine Hahn has a lock on her character, and I think also... And his, and his name is Joe? And yeah. Jo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a misspeak on my... But I do also think Joe Locke is doing really well with his character, too. And so... I loved this. To but... me, it really suits. And the sort of, like, going back to the... Like, this felt it more, again, like a TV show, where, like, the rest of it has really felt like we're scaling the aggro crag. Like, it's very... No, it's it... on a soundstage it was yeah, absolutely yeah. It, 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 but it was like it was like one of those like anthology episodes of a show like a like a saturday morning cartoon yeah where so i feel like we watched the first two episodes and then we had this like diversion and now we're back to mm -hmm. the story we started um so teen is billy mm -hmm. which who, I, I but who else is he who's william just a boy it, from from Eastview. So is William alive or dead? If Billy's, I think con they're sharing. Or did he die in the accident and Billy oh, just Billy went jumped because in. I hate that for William's parents. Yeah, God. Well, one of them's Paul Adelstein, and he is like actually like a guy. Like he was on private practice and stuff, and like. Regardless, I agree. Uh, but again, like, why are you begging these questions of me and then not addressing it in any capacity? Well, we got we got three more episodes. Um, I'm feel I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic now after this episode for the remaining three. But uh, we opened with William's bar mitzvah, mm -hmm. in which Lilia was a like a sideshow attraction at so the bar he, mitzvah. Oh, so, okay, so sorry, he's also supposed to only be thirteen. <laughs> Well, no, he's supposed to be 16 now. Oh, it's because time passed three, yeah, after the mitzvah. That was three okay, years ago. Okay, okay. So he was at his bar mitzvah, and she read his palm, and she was like, oh, your life has been divided. Uh, and she was like, that's not necessarily a bad thing, blah, blah, blah. And then she put the sigil on him. Yep. But did they say why? She's... Okay. She's the diviner. She sees things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been aware that, that that's been the case. Like, I'm aware she's saying things that are probably not going to make sense until we watch it again, mm -hmm. but it's still, it still, it feels half-baked, as in half-complete. It doesn't feel like 
it doesn't feel like an aside or a detail that enriches something. It feels like, oh, but you didn't finish what you were doing. Yeah, I'm also... Did, did, did that make sense? No, it does, okay. for sure. And I'm also having an extremely hard time. Well, the Lilia thing is whatever. I hate that Alice was the cop. Why was Alice the cop? Well, I mean, she said in a previous episode that she'd had a bunch of jobs and I think she might have even said something about being a cop. I don't remember. When she was working at Hot Topic, mm, remember? Yeah. She was like, I can't keep a job. And I mean, they. I guess they just needed to get them in there to justify their paychecks for being on the show because all of them, even yeah, Deborah, Je- Deborah Jo Rapp was in this episode. And I guess Jen was in the video, mm-hmm. but I don't... Uh, I feel like... I, like, I want to say something and I just feel like it's not... doesn't actually make any sense because as I'm saying it, it doesn't make any fucking sense, but I want to say you can't just be a cop, but you can well, just yeah. be a cop. So <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> sure, I understand what you mean, but so he was in an accident. So so on the way home, Lilia yeah. read his palm and then put a sigil on him because I guess she saw that this was going to happen, and then he was in an accident, and William maybe died or maybe fractured his consciousness, and Billy went into it and we don't know where Tommy is Mm -hmm. but seemingly Billy remembers Tommy or is was cognizant at some point that that his journey was half complete yeah and that is his reason for getting involved in this whole mess to begin with yeah is because he's he, he wants answers to that and then I guess he thinks Tommy will be waiting for him at the end of the witch's road because he's missing uh-huh. because Wanda is confirmed dead I guess uh-huh vision has been dismantled which felt rude every time they said it <laughs> I mean I think it's meant to no th- I mean and also he was we like literally <laughs> yeah. saw his corpse in um Wanda Doctor vision. Strange or Doctor Strange right, right right but um but Tommy was missing and he was listening to the um, Alice's mother's version of the witch's road where it was like at the end of the road you'll mm-hmm. find what you seek all that stuff um, so I think that's what he is hoping to find and so him and his boyfriend and went and they found Ralph Boner which is Evan Peters yeah from WandaVision uh, and <laughs> yes and no uh, this is I liked it I don't know I it, 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 for me I'm in a very um, oh my god what's his name the actor that was in Gandhi Ben Kingsley? Ben, it's very oh. Ben Kingsley in, 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 in Shang-Chi, where I'm sort of like, <laughs> the only way to earn Ralph Boner is, th- the only way is through. Yeah. Like, we just need to keep you, going. You just keep, more, come back to him and like. And, that, and that'll yeah. make it work. Um, the so. other thing that's my problem is that he also seemed, like, he was obviously very paranoid and like spooked and everything, which is fine. But he also then claimed that Wanda made him her husband. And I Agatha. was Agatha, okay. That Never was mind. all in WandaVision. Never mind, okay. Yeah. And then I don't remember if we saw it, I just didn't remember, but in this episode, Agatha was wearing a boner Amazing. family reunion or something, and it was pitch a tent. I, it was very funny. I really appreciated getting to see Teen's side of her that was mayor the best of East part. Town. <laughs> that was the best part, because she just kept on, like... Totally sleeping. Yeah. Or... That part was really funny. The, she had the fact that she had the garden hose nozzle <laughs> at, instead of a gun. And his line, when he, he was like, oh, I see, you have ascribed certain crimes to me that actually are just really, like, B-plot crime. And I was ama- <laughs> like, so funny. He was like, man, I didn't commit it, but I will be involved in a yeah, B-plot. so funny. And that's why I think this I think this show will make more sense when you watch it a second time. And I do agree with you that... that... But also, I'm at the point where I'm like, I, it's so unlikely that I'm going to do that. Okay, I think the thing is, to create a work of art that has a, se- a, a second life upon repeat viewings... It needs to be enjoyable on the first viewing. Correct. Th- your your enjoyment can't hinge entirely on a second viewing. Correct. And so I guess that is the issue you're struggling with, is you're just not so far enjoying it enough. Yeah. Um, I, okay. I, and I think it could be better. I'm I think enjoying it, it enough. I'm not enjoying it enough to immediately want to enjoy it again i like i said after this episode i'm encouraged i I am gonna feel better uh two weeks from now when we watch the remaining three yeah then we kind of picked up where we left off last week in on the witch's road but maybe a different dimension of the witch's road it was yellow instead of purple it was like yellow green 
Well, the leaves they, like, have been yellow the whole time. Yeah, but there was a lot of purple light. There was a lot of like purple mm. blue air, and they like fell into the mud. And then Agatha came through the mud. It 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 was giving me on the other side. Maybe not, I think you're but, doing too much again. Okay. I don't think it's anything. <laughs> and I guess it, I think they ran the out of goes, purple gels for the lights. <laughs> <laughs> as far as as far as the road goes, Jen and Lilia are also dead. Yeah. Teen slash Billy killed them. And him and Agatha are in a unlikely truce. Uh, sort of. And she knows, but she doesn't, and she's cool with it when but she's not unless she needs to be. Yeah. And I also thought I did think that scene was sort of redundant because through the flashback of Billy we found out that he's looking for Tommy. And so the only thing... They didn't thing, say it. They... I mean, they're spoon-feeding half the show to us. He I would rather... He looked at Tommy Dash missing and listened to the song no, that said I... at the end of the road. It's just... It's if like... they're going to spoon-feed half the show to us, exactly. then I think they need to spoon-feed it all. So I'm fine or, with that. Or none. Mm. Um, but yeah, regardless. I So I thought that was redundant because it doesn't... It's The only purpose of that scene is for Agatha to find out and I don't necessarily think it's smart for Agatha to have that information because, I mean, again, it's just like, it's sort of boring because now Agatha and Billy know all the same information. There's nothing. Well, more, effectively, like, you know? in my opinion, at this point, is what has happened is Agatha is not the lead, Billy is. So we started the show thinking that it was about yeah. Agatha, and I mean it is, but she the, they are they are still keeping her gray in a way that they were really it, it was sort of like a character reformation I would say mm -hmm. for the first few episodes, but it's like now I feel like Billy is our true north and yeah. Billy is our protagonist, which would be great, and he also is very like so I feel like it was a POV shift. He's very conflicted about having killed jen and lilia too and he's like i'm not like you and so i mean in that regard i i i'm i am interested in seeing where billy and agatha go in the remaining three yeah. episodes and if she is going to in fact end up being a villain or end up being a hero or whatnot i really don't think that our other witches are properly dead no i'm still holding out the tiniest bit of hope that we're gonna get Emma Caulfield back, and I just don't think we are. No. I thought you were gonna say Elizabeth Olsen, and I was like, babe, that ship has sailed. I, I thought, going into this, I thought we might, and now I'm like, we're not seeing her in no. this. I'm shocked we got Evan Peters, to be honest. Shocked. So, I would have been less shocked if Aaron Taylor Johnson showed up. That's what we, But remember, that's what we yeah. wanted the first time in yeah. WandaVision. Ah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, I, I think I, I'm back to being a little bit more optimistic or a little bit more positive. My biggest critique, if I had to boil it down, is consistency. Yep. I don't think the quality has been consistent for my viewing. Because again, we were talking to our friend Trevor. But he I, thinks it's great. A lot of people think yeah. it's great. We're not trying to take that away from anybody. If you think it's great, we're happy. My this issue is our... with the quality too, though, goes across the board, except for acting. The quality of everything is inconsistent. The sets, the writing, the lighting. Is, yeah, but then, is everything. But then this episode was good, and it kind of reminded me of what they were capable of. And so, but then the lighting was different on the road. I mean, again, I, I'm just, I'm not. I'm shocked they gave him two different rooms. I was like, oh, yeah. he went to town on that room, yeah. and like some of the posters were, yeah, the same. Some of them weren't. Yeah. But yeah. See you in two weeks. Bye. We're either really good at our job or eh, really bad. I don't care.